development of the capital city is important for its environs and a priority for the mayor and city councillors of Georgetown. In an effort to restore Georgetown to its former glory of being the Garden City, councillors were placed in charge of constituencies, where they are responsible for providing the residents with the services necessary for the upkeep of each community. Here's a sneak peek about what they have been doing. This is InfoHub Extended. Are you ready to embark on a truly epic adventure to an undiscovered corner of South America, where some of the most spectacular natural attractions are unveiled within a beautifully diverse landscape? From the wetlands and savannas to the ancient mountains, magnificent waterways and lush and rich in rainforest would provide a vast playground for some of the most exotic and breathtaking creatures on the planet, including many of the world's giant species. This untouched land of mystery and wonder serves up an exclusive experience for travelers. So are you ready for a new, awe-inspiring adventure? Welcome back to nature. Welcome to Diana. In Constituency 13, Tricia Richards intends to have upgrades done on two bridges at Main Avenue and to engage a minister with responsibility for housing, Annette Ferguson, on a solution to address the issue of squatting for 2019. I, I find that they're more responsive to sports. So through um, the coaches for the football teams and so on, I've been working with them so that they can have a different outlet instead of going to violence and crime and so on. Richards is currently in talks with the director of sport, Christopher Jones, to have the East Rhinebelt Community Center ground and the West Rhinebelt ground rehabilitated in an effort to create more family and child-friendly spaces. Also in the pipelines is a $40 million investment for the repair of the East Rhinevelt market. Additionally, Councillor Richards was able to secure $19 million for other areas of development in her constituency. Over in constituency 14, 100 lights are yet to be installed. Councillor Denroy Tudor says he plans to fund the lighting for Caneview area as this will assist in improving security. On his list of priority projects is youth mentorship, the rehabilitation of the Festival City Health Center and addressing security. He plans to have a community policing group set up. We endeavor to engage um, the commander um, for a division and I'm also the subdivisional commander. Um, but uh, from my experience within um, community groups, because I was a part of the Southern Belt Gardens Community Development and Policing Society, uh, we're looking to try to develop a similar sort of program within the constituency so as to ensure that persons feel a bit more secure. Daddy. In constituency 14, the establishment of an ICT hub and provision of skills training for youths aim to address the issue of unemployment and fostering conducive environments for growth. Unemployment is prevalent in constituency 15, and Celicia Hall is the councillor with the eye for ensuring that her people are gainfully employed while stamping out substance abuse, violence and crime. From the time I, I took office, myself and the chairman for the um, party group, We've worked in getting some boys to attend um, interviews. Some did not go, while some went. And we have persons being attached at the hospital. Persons are right at Gaffour's. We had, um, in the job fair, I was disappointed that some of them did not come out because Gaffour's were there and they were offering jobs, at least 100 jobs. Were being since taking her post as councillor, there were several drop fairs held in an effort to ensure persons know what's out there and seek employment with ease. 
Paul has reached out to businesses and made consultations as an alternative to solving many of the issues in her constituency while awaiting her grant to assist in development. The Mayor and City Council has collaborated with the National Drainage and Irrigation Authority to conduct a massive cleanup, which will see most of the main canals cleared. In each of these constituencies, drainage and irrigation has been addressed, which saw the reduction in flooding in the communities. This has been another edition of InfoHub Extended. Thanks for staying with us. Until next time, goodbye.